at um, a review of your meeting with the president as the class of the governors of the class of 99 in July last year, following the inauguration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And some of the things um, former Governor Loki Benedion said after the meeting was that you're discussed unemployment, you're discussed um, palliatives, you're discussed electricity, and some of the things that um, the former governors, 1999, said we're looking forward to seeing in, during this administration. I'd like to talk about unemployment because that's another key area for this particular administration. We don't have the unemployment figures. Well, the figures released was used using an adjusted adjusted rate and just looking at underemployment instead of unemployment in the, you know in its whole. We've seen in the last year a rapid rate of what we call the Jackba syndrome. And this is that many Nigerians, young ones, talented Nigerians, have gone abroad, got migrated for better prospects at, in our life. We need to contain that situation. But we also need to create jobs in this country. How would you rate this, um, the situation of things in terms of unemployment? And what should we do going forward to ensure that not only are we able to create employment for the team in Nigeria and population, especially the young people, but also to create an enabling business environment for businesses to thrive in Nigeria? Yes, I, I see that as a big uh, challenge because I am aware um, many graduates, after going through a course of studies, are frustrated. A graduate has no job, roaming around the street, having to do a job, uh, having to be working in hotels. It's not the kind of thing that uh, I wish to see. When I was young, in those, in those days, as soon as people come out of the University of Ibadan, uh, a car uh, and a portfolio is waiting for them. Uh, in my day, when I came out of Santos Boys High School, with only school start, many jobs are waiting for me. Uh, the situation is not like that at the moment. That is a serious challenge. But you see, unfortunately, uh, it's coming at a time when uh, the uh, exchange regime, intervention of everything has affected even the, uh, the private sector. The industrialist uh, sourcing for foreign exchange for imported products for their factories uh, are, 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 not, are not increasing workforce. So um, let's wait for the major intervention, like I said, and hopefully, uh, he told me he was going to sign a document, or he told me on, on Christmas that he was going to sign a document to allow, to encourage people not to go continue to bury uh, uh, money in their houses, in their vault, in under their bed, is, I, do, I think it's going to sign an executive order, to encourage people to come out with a uh, fund. Uh, so all these things will take time, uh, even the private sector are not, at the moment, even increasing their workforce. And I, I, I'm sorry to say, it hurts me when I see people that uh, migrate out of the country, country to what you call Japan to other countries. I pity them because I know uh, most of them are regretting going to this other country because in those countries, you hardly have a room for one common saving. Because in, 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 in all these so-called countries, tax rate, value added tax on every product, uh, everything is taxed. And in America, they allow you to spend all your money in advance, credit card, credit card. By, by the end of the month, you, you, you spend all your salary to clear the uh, backlog, and then you start all over again. Okay. It, it, okay. It's when they get there, they, they realize that uh, they've gone into uh, uh, an impossible situation and they can't come back. So I will appeal to the young ones, uh, at least our system in Africa uh, helps. There is a, a, a local insurance of a kind. I know okay. how many of my old age people I take care of. So. Uh, it would, as I said, it will also take time before we can okay. uh, re engineer increase in employment. Okay. Okay, Aramosa. Uh, uh, so, let me just quickly say this. 
you said that President Tinubu was a hero for removing subsidy. He took the bold decision. Would you also call Good Luck Jonathan a hero for removing subsidy many years ago, but your party kicked against him and all of you had a protest against him? And also, the second question will be about Unamdi Kano. What should be done as regards this Unamdi Kano situation and the Igbo question? And probably someday, the conversation about the Igbo presidency. Don't the Igbo still have a right at presidency since they return to democracy? Well, I'll start with your last question. <clears throat> of course, the Igbo have a right like any Nigeria, and I support their right to, uh, to the presidency. The, the, there should not be a situation where uh, we are treating any part of the country as a second race citizen. But you see, uh, some of my brother Igbos uh, think that uh, uh, it's a right, entitlement. Our brother the Igbos must talk to ourselves only um, in the gay. Talk to me that you would like to be president. That came to me to talk to me that you'll be president. When Abella and I wanted to, we went around the whole of the East. We saw in Amda Zikiwe, we saw uh, uh, Onu, we saw Mbakwe. We went around to each of their homes in their villages. Most of the Igbos didn't think that they should talk to us in Southwest. I feel sorry about that. I mean, look, the 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 the, the shake across the south south, led by people like uh, Ndibusi, uh, uh, Commodore Ebitiki, we and co. With us, Yoruba, they have built built up to June 12. What was forgotten? Two, uh, you see, the tribalistic politics cannot help anybody who wants to to be president of this country, must recognize the other tribes. The, uh, the kind of entitlement cannot give the Igbos the presidency. As for now, the Kanu, uh, I have not discussed it with the president, but I know that uh, from what I have from other sources, he's asking the Attorney General, can he, as a president, interfere with court processes? Can he order the court to stop the processes. These are issues. If we are negotiating something for uh, uh, we have to look at the implication in terms of uh, the legal processes right. and what are the power of the president to either interfere with the court or not. All um, right. Going back to now, the first question. Uh, Very quickly, your, your, sir, because of our time. Yeah. The first question I asked you, you called President Tudubu a hero question. for removing subsidy. Would you call Good Luck Jonathan a hero for removing subsidy? And why is it that when President Jonathan removed subsidy, your party then kicked against him? So he too is a hero, isn't it? Or is not a hero for removing subsidy then? At that time, the subsidy was minimal. And what we are saying then was that uh, uh, they should have tackled the corruption. Now, the corruption now continued and, continued and became bigger and bigger and round tripping, round tripping. People bring it, I mean, before, the, after Jonathan, a lot of events happened. Round tripping, bringing in vessels and you know, round, round tripping the vessels right, four or five times. So the, the, the corruption in the subsidy became higher. Before, that was, that was the situation between, I mean, of, of course, I respect Jonathan. He's a gentleman president. All right, I respect sir. him. All right, sir. Thank you very much uh, for expressing your thoughts towards former president. Good luck, Jonathan. And of course, your take on other issues in the economy under uh, this administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. We had the Aramo Olushegun Oshoba, uh, state, elder statesman and former governor.